Hi everybody, this is Bob with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a custom ringtone for your iPhone. Now, we're going to do this right from a project within Logic. Now, there are other ways of doing this, for example, within iTunes, but it's real easy for you Logic users to create this from your project, or for that matter, you could just drag and drop any song file into an empty Logic project and then set the range for your ringtone. So let's get started. I have a song here called Bluey. I want to use the second chorus in this song. So um, let me turn on my cycle mode and you see um, it's highlighted there. So I'm going to move this over here to the chorus. Now I could just drag these out to the section that I need. Just a quick tip for you here. If you know you have a region in your song that just makes up this chorus, for example, this region right here, all I have to do is command U on the keyboard and that um, pulls it out to that section there. So now that I have that range selected and the cycle mode on, I want to make sure this sounds good from the start. So let me just hit play here. Okay, that's perfect. That's where I wanted it to start. So now what I'm going to do just to save time, I'm just going to click over here at the end and then uh, we'll just let this loop through. And I want to make sure that when it gets to the end, that it loops back to the beginning and it sounds okay because at, um, this is probably like a 15 second um, section of the song. And so when I, um, when I bounce this down and put it on my phone, when it gets to the end of this 15 seconds, and then it's just going to loop back around when the phone rings just to start over. So you want to make sure that that sounds all right. So let me just uh, click it here at the end and see how it loops around. Okay, so that sounds fine. Now that I have the range selected, for the uh, bounce, just come over here and we're going to hit bounce project. And we want to change this to M4A, AAC. So uh, you can see that's the range that I have selected. I'm going to do this offline. I don't want to include an audio trail. I don't want to normalize it. You can see my, uh, my total selection there is 16 seconds and uh, that's fine. I think the limit, um, it might depend on the version of the iPhone you have, but I think it's 40, might be 40 seconds now, and maybe um, some older versions uh, was 30, uh, I'm not real sure, but just get it uh, 30 seconds or under and you should be fine. Um, and then the encoding, make sure you have Advanced Audio Codec, AAC, and um, the bit rate there is fine. And now all I want to do is hit Bounce. Okay, I'm just going to change the name of this. Let's see. Let's just put it to the desktop. And I'm going to hit Bounce. Okay, here's the file that I just bounced down on my desktop. Let's play it. Okay, that sounds good. And I'd listen to that all the way through, make sure it's okay. And now we need to, very important here, is change the file extension on this file. So the name of this is bluey.m4a. We need to change that A to an R. So just click on the uh, file name there. It highlights the name of the file. We need to click over here to the A because we need to change that A, backspace, R. And now it's going to ask you, do you want to change the extension from m4a to m4r? Yes, we do. So we hit use m4r. And to remember this, R for ringtone. So just change the A to an R. Okay, so now all I need to do is open up iTunes and I just need to put that in the tones folder. Here's tones. Now if you're not showing this tones, just go up to um, iTunes preferences and under general make sure that that's clicked on because if, if that's off you're not going to get the tones folder. Okay, so the tones folder's there. There's all of my ringtones that I've created. I just need to take this one, boom, put it in there, and now it rec it's going to recognize it as a ringtone. And when I update my phone, I'm going to have Bluey in there as one of the options for a ringtone. So this is a great way to select a custom range in Logic Pro. 
and to export it, your file to be used as a ringtone. There you go. Please comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.